So first, all you gotta do, turn on the stitch strip right here. Everything should, devices, you turn on, you turn on. Now it's only time for one last step. This PC, as you can see, it's a beast. It's one of the best PCs we can get out there for a really Make sure to stick around for the specs and all the details about it. So it has many different lighting modes, as you can see. Fans are running nice and cool. Um, top view, you have kind of this um, kind of protective film here, which you can take off to allow more airflow through the top. You can see the nice ram um so right here we got two usbs the light changing thing so you can change it to different colors i'm pressing that button which is really cool if, if you ask me um we have um right here uh audio and mic power button obviously and on the inside, so, um, this features a cooler master CPU cooler. The CPU is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, there is a total of three fans, just RGB, yeah. The motherboard is the Asus Prime series, as you can see down there, really good motherboard. Um, the, uh, the graphics card is, I don't know the exact model, but I know most info. It is the Eagle, or Gigabyte, GE Force RTX graphics card. It is a 3060 Ti beast. Um, right here, we have the RAM. The RAM is 16 gigabytes, just for a good start. It comes with, uh, T-Force Vulcan, which is actually, like, a really good RAM stick. The case comes with a nice embroidered server power PC logo. And the front. Wow, that just looks amazing. The beautiful RGB just going down, it makes it feel so much better. Taking a look at the back, I don't have the best scale management, but it's running very coolly. You have your motherboard parts right here, so you want to always want to make sure you plug in your USBs only right here. And down here is actually the graphics card spot right here. Down here, right there. So that's coming from the graphics card. So you want to make sure you connect your displays via there, obviously. So the SSD is down there, right? Um, right there. Looking pretty snazzy. Um, these are obviously the ports. It's cool to see it. Um, yes, it is the Asus Prime again. Uh, I'm not sure about the power supply, but technically it's just an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Base clock speed is 3.20 gigahertz, I believe. And on normal, it's advertised slower than it actually is. The base speed for the computer that I run tests on is 4.40 gigahertz, which is actually really, really fast for computers and is great for gaming. And I will put a link to it down below. For Best Buy only, because I haven't seen not, I have not seen any reviews on this, so I just want to be the first YouTuber to kind of like do this uh, computer. This is the, um, I was about to say the Acer Nitro. That's what, that was my old computer. This is a Cyber Power Gamer Master Extreme uh, PC. Mid, uh, performance mid tower uh, gaming PC. Because of this nice included keyboard, it does come with a mouse, but I don't know. Um, you're just gonna send us a new one. To kinda, you, you can kinda change the lighting I'm not sure which keys is it all. No, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's running Windows 11 right now. So I just turn that on. It's running Windows 11, but it defaults to Windows 10. So I just looked here, and it's only using 32% of the CPU and 3% of its memory power, 1% disk power, and 0% disk. Only because, probably because I have two live wallpapers and a bunch of background apps, like um, just background apps in normal. But this is, um, I will probably have a video on how to get this really cool space wallpaper soon. 
And this is, wow, this, that's just cool. It reacts to our mouse, reacts to the system sounds, which is really cool. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you really liked it. I will leave a link to this product down below again. Just be careful because sometimes it could sell out very, very fast. So make sure to just get it and it might be long wait time. Make sure to subscribe again for more amazing content, reviews, and just overall fun videos. Peace.